Hey, what is up guys? This is Lemillion Nation coming to you again with another video. Now, in this video, I am going to explain why the Seven Warlord system was abolished. Now guys, let's jump right into the video. No delays. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell for further notifications about all my videos. Alright guys, now in order to tell this story about why the Seven Warlord system was abolished, we need to start with Fujitora because he was the person who came up with the idea to abolish the Seven Warlords. Fujitora is a new admiral appointed through the World Military Draft. He was appointed by the New Fleet Admiral after the New Fleet Admiral himself, Akainu, got a promotion and uh, Aokiji had left the Marines because he did not want to work under Akainu, right? So Fujitora was appointed and he was a very interesting character, still is. He fought with Sabo back in Dressrosa and what we know of him so far is that he saw acts so atrocious that he blinded himself. We don't know what he saw but he blinded himself because of what he saw and he's still very powerful even without his eyesight. Now guys, he wants to get rid of the Seven Warlord system. He stated as much to the Flamingo. Now, Fujitora could not himself fight the Flamingo, even though the Flamingo had attacked him. I believe that Fujitora would have would have won more than likely, or probably it would be a draw. But he couldn't attack him because if he himself would have taken down the Flamingo right then and there would have had a repeat to what happened in the Alabaster Kingdom years back. And now in the Alabaster Kingdom, what had actually happened was a crocodile, a saint, a warlord, just like the Flamingo, he was oppressing the people. Just like the Flamingo was oppressing the people, the Flamingo had actually taken control of the government and we saw exactly what happened after a warlord took control of all of the government of that system, right? That country itself, the Flamingo took over right if crocodile had had his way he would have taken over alabaster as well and we would see a similar system as what we're seeing in dressrosa later on now these were the most pivotal events that actually triggered the seven warlord system to be abolished can you imagine guys like the warlords keep on abusing their power some of them they don't they don't they, they're not some persons call them government does but they're really not you have doflamingo who's a pirate he abuses the system he takes his power and abuses it does what he wants with it right just like crocodile did he was trying to take control of a country overall he didn't care he was trying to get an ancient weapon and what would he have done what would he have done with that how many persons would have had to die because of that these are some of the reasons why the Seven Warlords system was abolished. The Warlords are taking advantage of the government's power. And Fujitora, who is righteous, right? He doesn't want the government to ally with pirates in order to achieve justice because he doesn't see justice as absolute like what Aoki, like Akainu does. Sorry, He doesn't see justice as being absolute. He is someone who is actually seeking peace and he's actually trying to serve. He bowed before the citizens of Dressrosa and apologized after what the warlord, the vicious warlord did to them. Like he apologized to them. Do you see any other marine admiral doing that? I surely don't. So he decided to consult King Riku and also Cobra Nefertari of the Alabasta Kingdom. These were the two kings that were oppressed by the warlord and nearly even by the warlords and nearly even killed too, along with their families. So he consulted them, he was talking to them, talking to them, and allowing them to understand why he wants to abolish the seven warlord system. How he actually plans to replace the warlords, as in a power system to replace the warlords. Seemingly Vegan Punk has developed an item which has allowed them to actually not need the warlords anymore so once they don't need them they're just gonna go against them and just like get rid of them completely and they're like they didn't just abolish the system and say okay you're no longer allowed with us and just leave them alone and catch them like regular they're there to actually they're there to actually they went to all of where the warlords are in order to catch them we see the flamingo reading about this in the paper and he's laughing he's there laughing in his cell and like he, he there's the, the world never ceases to amaze him right like he was, he was he's, he's one of the main causes of all of this and he knows that he did what he did and causes all of this uproar in the world right now 
and he's having a blast even though he's in jail right like the the uh, the remaining five shishibukai like that are there they're having their time to revolt and all the marines are going forward to them right so basically guys like we see hancock and inside of her country we see all of the um amazons there like they're there and like they see these ships coming across the horizon the calm belt and they went to inform her and she said don't worry because we're strong we are strong that's why we were made warriors in the first place buggy's there talking to vice Ab well vice admiral stainless is there telling buggy why his title has been revoked they're gonna capture him buggy decided to fight right one of the most iconic scenes that we see is that Mihawk is excited. A, a battalion of ships are there. I don't know who they would send to take down Mihawk, but they send persons to take him down. He's excited. He wants to actually fight. So they're there to catch him as well. We see Weevil. Weevil is actually surrounded. We don't know. Like he, He's going to fight them as well. We don't know which side he's going to end up on. But probably he'll join Blackbeard, right? Who knows? Like Mihawk would more than likely form an alliance with Shanks, yeah. Buggy, he could probably join Shanks. More than likely, he would seek protection from Blackbeard as well. Mm, I don't really see him joining Luffy, though. I don't see him doing that, right? Mm, yeah, guys. Blackbeard is like there's we, we see we see some um action from Blackbeard as well. But what Blackbeard did was abuse the system as well. After he got what he wanted and got to capture Ace, lower Whitebeard to Marine Fort, steal his power and everything, he just um denounced his title, right? Jim Barry denounced his title because he didn't want to fight against Whitebeard in the war. Moria was attacked by the world government after the war by Doflamingo, right? Yeah, they were saying he was too weak, so they decided to just get rid of him right then and right there. So the remaining warlords are going to be captured because of all of those reasons, guys. So, like, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let me know what you think about my video. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll continue to do One Piece content along with other content. Keep on checking out my content. This is Lemillion Nation, signing out.